Do you want to make more sales on Poshmark? In today's video, I'm going to share with you three Poshmark selling tips that you must know to make more sales on Poshmark. Be sure to watch the video till the end to get all the tips. What's up resellers? I'm Rebecca and you're watching Rebecca the Reseller. I am a semi full-time Poshmark seller and on my channel, I share lots of Poshmark selling tips to help you make more money on Poshmark. So if you want to grow your business and make more sales on Poshmark, I hope you will subscribe. Okay, let's dive into the tips. Tip number one is to put your item SKU in the title. So let's talk about it. Basically, if you have an inventory system where you are saying what bin your item is in, or you have a bin letter or a bin number or some sort of inventory number that you assign to each item, I'm encouraging you to put it in the title of your listing. And the reason for that is that it can actually save a ton, ton, ton of time when you're going to do your shipping. So let me tell you what I do is I actually put it in the title at the end. So it'll say free people, jeans, wide leg, flare, whatever, whatever, size 27, number sign or pound sign for the those old folks in the room like me that know it as a pound sign or a hashtag and then the number 925. So I know in the title what the item is and the item number and where to find it in my inventory system. Now, Poshmark does give us a SKU where we can put it. So there's a SKU field down at the bottom where you're entering your listing details and it's private only to you and you can enter it there. The problem with it is that it doesn't show up on your sales screen. So when you go to ship, you go into your app and you pull up your sales screen. And so in one list here, I can see all the things that sold for the day and I know exactly what to go and pull. When you use the SKU field that Poshmark gives you, you have to actually click into it and then you can see the SKU field. So you have to click into it, see the SKU field, go get it, go back, click into it, see the SKU field, go get the item. And so for me, when I'm shipping five to 10 items a day, I'm trying to do it quickly. I want to move on to other things. I don't want shipping to take forever. I just find that it's way easier to look at just one screen. So when I click onto my sales screen, I can see the title of every single item. And at the end of that title is my item number. And so I don't need the SKU field and I can only just look at one screen. And so for me, that saves a few seconds on every single item that I'm doing. You add that up over time, that's a lot of time that you spend clicking around trying to find out what your item number is. And if you have straddled inventory systems perhaps, and so some items have it in one place, some items have it somewhere else, you can get even more confused. So for me, I put it in the title. I also copy and paste it into the description just to check myself. Sometimes it's easy to make a mistake or make a typo with a number and then you can't find what you're looking for because you wrote 925 but really it's 924. So I find that if I type it two times, chances are one of those times is going to be right. And so if I can't find it based on the number in the title, I can always go down into the description and see the other number and notice if it's different and I made a mistake. And that way that saves a lot of time in trying to like go through all of your bins. Have you ever lost an item? And then you have to go through all of your bins trying to find that one item. It takes forever and is so infuriating. So for me, I think that putting the SKU in your title is the fastest and easiest way to do things. Yes, customers may see it. Yes, it is in your title and shows up and takes up characters. But honestly, your title and your description on Poshmark is searchable. So it really doesn't matter what you put in your title, as long as between the title and the description, you're covering all the keywords and important information you need to include in your listing, you're fine either way. Now is a great time to give this video a thumbs up, like this video, I appreciate it. Thank you. Be sure to watch till the end so you get all the Poshmark selling tips. The second Poshmark selling tip I have for you is to use signs and graphics in the photos of your listings to help you make more sales on Poshmark. So let me tell you what I mean. Before this was more difficult because before Poshmark allowed us to have 16 photos, you couldn't really do this. You were kind of pressed for photos. But now that we have 16, I will tell you, I don't always take 16 photos 
of every single item. Some items are simple and don't require that many photos. There are definitely others that do. But so when you find that you have extra photos in there, that's like free prime real estate that you can use to try to connect with your buyer, to send additional information to them that they might wanna know either about the item or about you as a seller, and just use it as an opportunity to make your listing stand out, look more pretty, look more professional. Whatever you're trying to accomplish with your signs and your graphics, you can do so many things with them. So I'll give you a couple of examples of what I do. There's one sign that I recently added, which is a, you know, this item ships for free or free shipping because Poshmark now allows us to add a shipping discount. So I went through and put free shipping on all of my items. And I want that customer to know as soon as they start looking at the photos of my item, that this item has free shipping. Because at this point in time, since this is still relatively new, buyers on Poshmark aren't really conditioned to assume that there may be free shipping or to look for free shipping. So now, you know, eventually this will pick up and buyers will know that some sellers offer free shipping and some sellers don't. And so they know to look for it. But if anybody shopped on Poshmark over the last however many years Poshmark has been around, they've known that they pay for the shipping and it keeps going up every year. And so now us sellers and Poshmark need to really kind of put it in the faces of buyers. Like this item has free shipping. That's why the price is is this way or you don't have to pay anything extra or think about that when you're making your offer. So I put a sign that says this item ships for free and that's the second photo in my listing. So the first photo is the cover photo. The second photo is this free shipping sign. Now another one that I do is at the end and it's called bundle benefits. And so basically I'm letting the person know that if they bundle items, they will get a discount on top of the free shipping. So in my closet, I offer 20% off if they bundle two or more items. So if they bundle an item, it has free shipping, and then they bundle it with another item. Now they're gonna get 20% off and free shipping. Because if you offer free shipping on all of your items, there's really no incentive for the buyer to bundle items anymore because before they wanted to make the most of their shipping charge. And so they would bundle a few items so that their average shipping cost would go down, which makes total sense. But now if I'm offering free shipping, the buyer doesn't care whether they order one item or two items or whatever, because they're getting free shipping no matter what. However, I, as the seller, want them to bundle items because that means I could sell two items for the price of one free shipping in my, you know, that comes out of my earnings. So if I sell one item, I'm paying for the shipping. If I sell another item to another person, I'm paying for the shipping. But if I sell both of those items to the same person and they bundle them, I only have to pay shipping once and I get to sell two items. So for me now as the seller, I want to really encourage buyers to bundle. And so by highlighting the 20% discount for them to bundle items on top of the free shipping, that just sweetens the pot. So I have a sign that showcases the bundle benefits and I put that at the end of the listing. Now there's one more sign that I include and this I call like my seller information. And so you can create this for yourself. You can create any of these signs in Canva or the Over app or apps like Typorama. There's a million graphic design apps out there. I usually use Canva on my desktop and I use Over on my phone. Now the last sign that I mentioned is what I call my seller information. And so basically it's going to tell them I ship same or next day. I'm a professional seller. I package with care. Offers are welcome. Heart for price drops. And then I have my logo. So it's just basically a little touch point to give them some information about buying from me. And I feel like this helps present a nice, you know, it looks nice and professional. It's a nicely designed graphic. It communicates to them some of the information about buying from me. And it also just gives them a little bit more confidence for them to know that offers are welcome and they're more than welcome to make an offer, that I ship same next day and they're going to get their item quickly, that I consider myself a professional seller and I'm not gonna just leave them high and dry with them not knowing what they're going to get. So I do that 
for lots of different reasons. And I also include some of that information in my description. I talk about it often on my channel, especially in my Poshmark closet reviews, where I say you should have a buyer confidence line. But for this tip, it's really about also putting it in the graphics. If somebody doesn't read through the description, they may see it in the photos. And so that's why I put it in the photos as well. This video is brought to you by my Poshmark Strategies Checklist. Click the link in the description and sign up for my email list to get it. That's going to have exclusive content, giveaways, announcements, and much more. The third Poshmark selling tip I have for you is to say things multiple ways. So I've kind of touched on this tip in a few different videos because I do like talking a lot about keywords and I have a keywords list available in my Etsy shop and I really feel passionate about people building their keyword database in their mind and knowing what keywords to add to listings because it just really helps with Poshmark SEO and helps get your listings found and hopefully sold. But one of the things that I've been talking about most recently is to consider what the buyer is searching for, not what you as the seller are writing as a keyword. So recently I did a video and I talked about this Kate Spade top and it was a silk top. And so I put Kate Spade silk top, blah, blah, blah. But what if I was the buyer and I was searching for a silky top? Because maybe I don't care specifically that it's made of silk, but I just want that silky feel. And so when I searched for Kate Spade silky top, my listing didn't come up because I didn't have that as a keyword. So silk, silky, you could actually use both of them in the same listing so that you can come up in two different searches. Another example is like for the athleisure category. And so everybody's wearing their leggings and I'm in my Lululemon and all of that stuff. So you can put athletic or workout. So you could put workout pants, workout leggings, athletic leggings athletic score, workout score. These can be used interchangeably and some people search saying athletic, some people search saying workout. There might even be other keywords that mean similar. I don't even know, but those are the two that I use as well. And I don't just use one or the other, I use them both. The other example that I have is high rise, high waist, high-waisted. I've talked about this one before too, but I want to reiterate it because it is still in style and everyone says something different. And so I put pretty much all three of them if I can fit it with the amount of characters that I have. And remember, your title and your description is searchable. So usually I'll put high-rise in the title and I'll call it high-rise like for the categories, how now they have high-rise as a category. And so then I can put high-waist or high-waisted in my description. And that way I would come up no no matter what that person is searching for. The last one on this is career, work, office, or dress pants. So it doesn't necessarily apply just to dress pants, but I wanted to throw that in. So if you have a career dress, let's say a Calvin Klein dress, and you, it's obviously somebody, you know, would wear it to work, you can use the word professional, career. I think a lot of us know career, but we don't always put the other ones. But I've noticed that people search work dress, dress for work, office dress, office wear, things like that. So there's lots of different ways that a buyer could search for something. And you want as a seller to match as many of those ways as possible. And so don't just put one way or one keyword, try to put them all, if you can fit them in your listing as appropriate so that you can come up in more searches. Now it's time for the question today. Which one of these Poshmark selling tips are you going to start using right away? And if you happen to know all of them, Thanks for watching. What is your favorite Poshmark selling tip to implement? We would all love to share and learn together. Let me know in the comments below. I put a bunch of reseller resources together for you. It's all in the description down below, so make sure you check it out so you can catch everything. Watch the next video that comes up right here, and I will see you next time. Bye.